Welcome to another video from the DJPodcast.com in our How to DJ with Tractor Pro 2 series. You guys asked for it, so now let's take a look at sample decks inside of Tractor Pro 2. We're in Tractor Pro 2 now, and we're going to start off by changing our deck D to be a sample deck. All you have to do is go over to the deck letter and change it to a sample deck. So I'm going to change deck D. So I'm going to go over to the D, and you can see the D turns into an arrow. Click on the arrow and I have the option of what I want that deck to be. I'm going to simply change it to a sample deck and now I have four more additional sample slots that I can use during the mix. Okay, let's talk about some of the different controls that you have over the individual samples. The most immediate ones that you see right now are right here. You've got play, volume, and filter. But there are a couple other options that are available for each sample as well. You can see under the name of each sample, there are three gray rectangles. And these are indicators for the individual sample options. Let's mouse over the sample and you can see that they change. So there's a couple different things here. The note is a pitch lock and it works just the same way as pitch lock for a track would work. Next we have effects and that allows you to turn on the effects for each individual sample. So you're not affecting all of the samples in the sample deck, only the ones with FX turned on. We also have a headphone icon for queuing, and to the right we have a toggle. This will actually change between a one-shot and a loop. We also have a mute button, so you can easily mute or unmute your samples while you're playing them. Okay, so now let's take a deeper look at some of the controls that we have inside of our sample deck. We're going to be focusing on this house one percussion loop. Start off the sample, we're going to press the play button. And of course, we have the volume. Pretty self explanatory. We also have a filter. Now, this will act like any of the other filters inside of Tractor Pro 2. If you go to the left, it'll be a low pass filter. If you go to the right, it'll be a high pass filter. Let's turn it on. You can see here we have a high pass and a low pass. Simply double click to reset it and then turn it off. We also can do an effect on this particular sample. Now let's talk about the pitch lock. We're gonna go up to our master clock here and we're just gonna set this to something really high, like 137. You can hear that the sample is sped up and you can hear quite a difference. Now let's turn on the pitch lock. It's still faster, but it sounds a lot better than it did before. Of course, you can always mute the sample. And if you want, you can simply turn the sample off. That's all the time we have for today to talk about sample decks inside of Tractor Pro 2. For more great video tutorials, please subscribe here on YouTube and check out our website, thedjpodcast.com. Thanks for watching.